There's the sunshine we didn't see much of today in the eastern part of our viewing area, John. And uh, just in the nick of time, too. Get to be out here in it, Scott. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Yeah, this is great. Nice uh, blue sky behind me here. Just some puffy cumulus clouds out there in the distance. It is a fantastic evening here uh, in Music, Pennsylvania. We'll give it a uh, sterling uh, afternoon or sterling evening stamp of approval out here on a Tuesday night. It certainly is nice. Now, we did have some showers today, still some ongoing, and here's some video of what it looks like in Williamsport. And I love this site. You've got a rainbow in Williamsport on the eve of the beginning of the Little League World Series. How about that? Maybe a little omen, maybe some good news for our boys playing from Pennsylvania. Good luck to everyone in the tournament and welcome to all of you who might be watching uh, from where you are. And here's a forecast for the Little League World Series for the next four days. Tomorrow we get things going, one o'clock. Looks like an okay day tomorrow, Thursday. I think Friday's gonna be okay too. This little stretch that we got coming up here, it's just, you know, a spot shower that may be popping up the next couple of days. And as I look at some new data coming in here this evening, looks more and more like that chance for some showers or more organized showers and storms would be later Thursday night after the late, latest game and kind of before the action gets going on Friday. So things are looking pretty good. Again, just some spotty shower chances and then the most robust chance, if you want to call it that, is really late Thursday night to very early Friday morning. Now, we are watching a line of showers and some embedded rumbles of thunder, too. Went through the Hughesville area coming up towards uh, World's End State Park there in uh, Sullivan County, and that line's going to continue to progress eastward. So, you know, we may get some flashes and see some rumbles here as the evening wears on. It's all thanks to this area of low pressure kind of churning around over Lake Erie. It's going to send this little system through, and this is going to be kind of a slow mover, too. So we may find an on-again, off-again shower overnight and also a chance for that passing shower tomorrow until that thing finally drags its way far enough northeast that we lose its influence. Temperatures this evening, still 80 right now in Ashley. 77 in our backyard, but 69s, a bunch of those. Scott Run, Coolbaugh Township, Greentown, Honesdale, Lopez. Coolest spot right now is Starucca, sitting at 66 degrees. So we'll go with a partly clear sky tonight. The showers will eventually come to an end here. It will be in the mid-60s for a low. Tomorrow, we can't rule out a stray shower in the afternoon. Nothing widespread. Highs tomorrow, similar to today, upper 70s to around 80 degrees. Perhaps a little fog tomorrow morning. This is what the radar might look like tomorrow. And you see there's not a lot of widespread activity, but you can see some green blips popping up, especially over central Pennsylvania tomorrow afternoon. So can't rule it out but looks like kind of a far and few between kind of a chance for any kind of wet weather tomorrow. Over the next three days, again, just some spotty shower chances for Wednesday and Thursday, and then really a more robust chance late Thursday night into early Friday morning with what amounts to a cold front that'll be coming through. And here's how things might be playing out with that. We're looking ahead now. This is really late Thursday night. This is 10 o'clock at night. And you can see out ahead of that front, some showers forming. Wouldn't be surprised if we get some rumbles of thunder in that too. This will be dragging through, but I do like the timing of it. Again, it's kind of an overnight deal while we're sleeping, kind of like what we had last night. You know, we had some pretty heavy rain overnight. One to three inches of rain fell while most of us were asleep. So not bad news there. You get it out of the way, then you wake up and things get a little better. I think Friday we'll try to break out into some sunshine by the afternoon, the morning holding that best chance for a shower. But by uh, this time, uh, Friday evening, I think we'll be in great shape. If you, if you have some yard work to get done the next few days, really going to be okay. Ground may be a little wet uh, to get things going Friday morning, so maybe a little clumpy uh, with the grass. But by Saturday, it's good. i got to tell you, I love the looks of the weekend. See a lot of sunshine in that. And, some warming temperatures too. So here's a peek at the next seven days. You've got just a spotty shower chance tomorrow, but a lot of the day will be dry. Low 80s should do it for highs. Looks a little warmer on Thursday, mid 80s. Again, that spotty shower chance. Looks cooler Friday, upper 70s. And then as we go into the weekend, uh, looking great. Looks like we've got a lot of sunshine there and perhaps heating up a bit for early next week. And again, a lot of sunshine there too. So looks like after we get out of this little stretch, Scott, great chance to dry out, but after all the rain, out there mowing again. Stuff's going to be growing quick thanks to all the recent rainfall. Well, there's the silver lining, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Hey, at least it'll be sunny and warm on a weekend. You'll love to see it. John, thanks.